Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley preview. Fast and furious. Fast rehash is what we'll call it. Brand new set from Hot Wheels Entertainment coming out very soon. Lots of mixed opinions on this. I'm not going to argue with any of them. Uh, some of you are excited to see this Fast and Furious set come out with castings that were released previous. Maybe you didn't, weren't able to get them uh, back when they were originally released. These reissues, maybe you're happy to see a little bit of the change up with the black wheels. Others of you, you think this is a Mattel cash grab. You're trying to take advantage of us sucker collectors. I see why you think that. I don't think that's Mattel's intention, to be honest, but uh, I can see why you think that. I'm not going to disagree with anyone on this. Some of you are going to walk right by this on the pegs. Others of you are going to be happy to find it. I actually think this set's going to sell. Um, but nonetheless, I've got it. I'm going to preview it for you. Mattel sent it to me. It's going to be hitting stores and hobby very, very soon. And we'll just go through it. Two little subsets here, right? This is entertainment. I think one of the reasons that we're seeing this, I don't know for sure, but I think one of the reasons we're seeing something like this is that the universal license is so important to Mattel. And to be frank, it's really important to us collectors. If you, you know, I think everyone can appreciate the fact, I'm not a big Fast and Furious guy actually, but considering the castings that we've been able to get because of this license deal and because of the budget that Mattel's putting into it, uh, I'm pretty happy. There's a new movie coming out next year, and my guess is that this is kind of a bridge. Maybe they need to keep things active for the license, uh, and so we're going to see something like this. We might see other little rehash models walk right by them if you don't want them, but um, that might mean that we're going to get some new stuff come next year when the new movie comes out, and maybe some some stuff new stuff from older movies. Who knows? Let's just get right to it. Like I said, this is the, uh, I'm calling it fast rehash, but uh, there goes all the models falling down. And we'll just get right to it. This is number one. It's the 95 Mitsubishi Eclipse. We've seen this deco twice before. I'll show you the card art. There's the back. They are, they are specifying what movie each one of these is from. And then there's that. These are all Japanese cars. I think that's maybe a, like a kind of an unannounced subset here. And these are all with black wheels, which I think is an unannounced subset. Two versions before. We've had this one, which has horrific, this is from, uh, what, original fast? Horrific, horrific wheels. I was not fond of this one. I, I'm, you know, I don't really like the Fast and Furious decos either. I mean, they're appropriate to the movie, but, you know, for someone like me who likes what I like, I just don't really like them. I guess they kind of signify a particular era too, but the wheels on this one were terrible, so that was one of the reasons I didn't like it. And then they released the second one maybe a year or two ago. Better, right? Ten spokes look a lot better. But I still just don't like, I, I think I like the casting. I just don't like the deco on it. And we haven't seen another version of it. Um, I don't see anything different between the two of these, uh, to be honest. A, a Deco-wise, um, obviously wheels, there is a big difference. So this one, um, yeah, green, black hood, this blue stripe detailing. Don't know exactly what else to say about it. Um, kind of cool. And uh, I don't know. You know, look, sometimes <laughs> I'm left a little bit speechless, too. I think the, ah, yeah, I don't know if there's any other difference on these. Let's see this casting. In my opinion, I would love to see this casting uh, get the, uh, get you know, Boulevard or Car Culture treatment. Let's see it in a more plain, realistic livery. That's that one. Number two is the Nissan 240SX, the S14. Now, this is one of those castings. You know, Eclipse was cool to get it from Fast and Furious, the S14. I think has a very, very bright future. And we've already seen it uh, released wonderfully. This is the original release from Fast and Furious. Don't remember what mix it was called, um, but really looks cool with the chrome wheels. Again, deco that I'm not too fond of, but it works. Uh, we'll get to the comparison there. Then they did a second Fast and Furious release. Again, deco doesn't do anything for me. The color combination is kind of cool, but you know, like the Mitsubishi Eclipse, let's see, or like, what I want to see from the Mitsubishi Eclipse is something like this. This one from Modern Classics, uh, what about, what, a year or two ago? Released in white with the black rims. It's not going to get any better than this. This casting is so cool. And just this plain pearl white version looks so great uh, with, the, uh, with the black six spokes. That's what I'm talking about. may not like the Fast and Furious version, but you know in the future you're going to get something like that. And that makes me super, super happy. So let's compare and contrast these two. Again, I think the decos are exactly the same. I'm not seeing anything 
that's different. And I think this also allows, maybe they have to get the wheels approved, but I think this allows um, Mattel to maybe not go through the licensing processes that they have to either because it's essentially the same car. Maybe the wheels, I don't know. All right, number three. I'll let that roll through a little bit longer so you guys can see it. And then we'll get to number three. Number three of five is the Nissan Skyline GTR, the BCN R33, known as the R33. Casting that uh, was designed by Rio Asada for basic and then converted to premium, I think, yeah, before it even went fast and furious, I think. I may have the timing off on this one, but went to Boulevard first. Was this the first mix of Boulevard or the second in a Nismo Deco? And we've since seen, we've seen the R34, we'll get to that, and the R32 take on this Nismo Deco. This is just perfect, uh, this version of this casting in the Nismo Deco. Um, and then we did see it, this was its Fast and Furious release. I think these wheels are always a little bit too small. We'll get, we'll talk about them with the Acura. So again, Deco doesn't do anything for me. The bright yellow color also doesn't do anything for me. Um, well, actually, let's just compare right now the two of them, and then we'll get to the Fast and Furious model. Um, you know, obviously the wheels make a big difference. I think that makes this one look a little, the new one look a little bit better, even though maybe it's not accurate to the movie. Uh, that looks okay, but uh, we'll get to that one. And then another Fast and Furious. I mean, this Deco does nothing, 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 nothing. But I've got it because I love this casting and I collect it. Um, I don't know what else to say, but Nismo is really good. The best version to me is this one. I love the five spokes on it. Plain white from the GTR uh, diorama set. Just perfect. Notice the theme here. We've got the pearl white S14. We have this white R33 which is fantastic. And now we have this one. We'll see another plain white very, very soon. All right, so this, here we go. I mean, nothing different deco-wise. You've got the black rims on it. It's pretty cool. It's a Fast and Furious car. I mean, you guys know what my opinion is on these. I, I don't I don't mind that Mattel's putting them out again, but I don't care too much about them. But I, I am a completist with some of these castings, so they are going into the collection. All right, this one will be the one that goes the quickest. The R34 always does. Actually, the Eclipse has been really popular too. But the R34, and I mean, I didn't bring them out, but do you know how many times we've seen this deco? I think in basic or Fast and Furious special ranges, like the, the basic style with the plastic wheels, I think it's five or six times. Plus, you've seen the premium. I mean, let's just go through them, right? We've had the other Paul Walker R34 in plain blue twice. This is the first version. It's actually three to be technical, but it's the same. It was the same car. This is the first version with the GT style kind of lace wheels. This is when they didn't have proper real riders for a car like this. It looks okay. I mean, the the details are great, but um, but there was that that version with the GT wheels. I may have these out of order too, but I think I've got right. There's your there's your comparison, right? The chrome wheels look better on this one, although the black wheels do change it up quite a bit. But the chrome wheels are the better version here. And this was the from the original mix, right? I think it was, was it all Japanese? That first mix of Fast and Furious was the R34, the R32. No, there was a Lamborghini in there too, I think. Maybe it was, was it called Import Fast or something like that? I think is what it was. And then, so now we have the second version. I, you know, we'll get to the to it. We'll just go through the other three R34s. Nismo again. R34 from Team Transport, which, you know, now we with, with the R33 and R32, such a cool set. We have all three of those. That one is, I mean, flawless. And then the true flawless, I just love these plain white. That GTR set is just legendary now. Garners quite a bit of money. Um, and this plain white with the 10 spokes, just perfection. Perfection, perfection, perfection. Such a rad, rad casting or cool version. And then the blue returned with 10 spokes and it looks awesome. This was one, this was a reissue that I was really happy about because you know, the GT wheels are okay, but these 10 spokes are far better. And this is this casting to me totally realized um, in this Fast and Furious version. Cause it's just, you know, it can be, a, it is the Fast and Furious blue version, but it can be just a replica of a standard GTR R34. Now here is this one. Five spokes look good on this casting. Is that the first time we've seen it? I think it is the first time we're seeing the five spokes on the R34, unless we saw, no, I guess I'm not, I didn't bring out the, uh, 
the RLC versions, but they did show up on that uh, Nismo Chrome version, right? But uh, yeah, this looks, I mean, this looks good. This is different enough, and I think people are going to buy this one. And anyone wants, you know, R34s are popular. Of course, this is going to get purchased. So different with the black wheels. That's kind of cool. And then last, number five of five. This is the most significant to me, um, in my opinion. Number five of five is the 2017 Acura NSX. Uh, the only one, the only other premium version of this casting was the original Fast and Furious version. And this is one where the wheels just didn't work. So when this was released, I was like, cool, we're getting a premium you know, it is fast and furious, but very stock, plain silver version of this of this model. But the wheels don't work. They're too small. They're not enough low profile for a car like this. This one's okay. See, it's like it's like everything's great except for the wheels. And now, for me, if I were just if I had to buy one model from this set, this is the one because this, to me, is this model totally realized with the ten spoke wheels, low profile, ten spokes fit the wheel wells, fit the look of the car, give it a much more supercar, sports car look that uh, it should have, right? I, I wonder if the five spokes would be even better, but in this case, these look good. This is a casting that, you know, I like it. I'm, I'm a fan of the Acura NSX. I don't think it's as exciting a casting as some. Um, so I don't want to see a car culture spot taken by this one. I actually like that racing one they've done better. Um, but... Um, this is good. This is a nice, this is a welcome addition and probably, I think, the most significant model from this set just because of the vast improvement of the wheels. You guys tell me what you think. There it is. Hitting stores soon. Walmart's targets everything else. You hate it. You love it. You have no opinion about it. You're going to buy it. You're not going to buy it. I agree with all of it, and I won't, uh, I won't argue any points you guys make on this one, um, but there it is if you want it. Thanks, everybody. Bye.